Over the next few minutes, I'm gonna take you on a step-by-step -step process of how to set the Eclipse measuring system up and how it can be used to your advantage. The very first step is to create a repair order. So the first thing we need to do is to turn the machine on and boot the software up. From the repair order tab, select create new. Then assign your shop repair order number to the file. After that, fill out the year, make, model, and information that you desire, and it's time to move to the next page. Now that the repair order has been filled out, we can move on to the hardware section. That is putting the scanner underneath the vehicle and to begin assigning targets. Today, I'm gonna to place it in the very center of the vehicle, but you can actually put it anywhere where it can still see the targets. The scanner on this unit has the ability to compensate for being out of level. So if the car is crooked or the scanner is crooked, the scanner will automatically know that, send the information to the computer, and it will compensate for it. The next step is to go to the setup page. Here, we will assign the targets to the specification points and then hang the targets themselves. Typically, you want to start with the torque box, the basic four measuring points. From there, you can branch out anywhere between eight, 12, as many targets as you need to find the damage to the vehicle. Just to remind you, the torque box is a known undamaged area under the vehicle, usually in a square pattern of only four targets that you know you can trust. Once you've established your torque box, the rest of the location of targets is entirely up to the technician. If you have damage at the front of the vehicle, start placing your targets out towards the front. Same thing for the rear of the car. Looking at the graphics viewer in the Eclipse setup module, we left click on a point in the torque box of this car. On the computer screen, we see a photo of the spec point. We're going to select point L. The target number will automatically assign itself to the selected point when you plug it in. You can also select a target location manually in the target assignment box. We see that the point is a hole. The recommended attachment adapter is a 1610. The recommended stem is a red 232 millimeter stem. First pick a magnetic coupler and recommended bolt and hole adapter. They join together magnetically. Then select a target from the charging tray. Next, plug the recommended stem into the target. Finally, snap the ball end of the stem into the target ball grip on the magnetic adapter. The numbers on the magnetic adapter tell you that it will fit a 16 millimeter diameter hole or a 10 millimeter diameter bolt head. The adapters will fit a hole, a slotted hole, a bolt head, or a stud. For a hole or slotted hole in an aluminum chassis, use an orange Unifit. The Unifit adapts to a range of hole diameters indicated by the numbers on the side. Attach a stem to the Unifit the same way as you do for a magnetic coupler. Attach the Unifit to the spec point hole by squeezing the two halves together. Then insert the Unifit into the hole until the appropriate step is reached. Simply check the Unifit selection in the attachment point information section. For slotted holes, remember you should always slide the adapter to the forwardmost position of the vehicle. Turn the target so the red surface faces the laser scanner. You can tell that the target is aligned properly when the LED at the bottom of the target is flashing green. If the target is above or below the laser light beams, pick a stem with a different length. Pick one that positions the target where it is struck by the laser beams. The target automatically reads the new length of the stem. Continue assigning targets to specification points and hanging them. The more targets are hung, the better you can see the damage of the vehicle. Now that we've got the targets assigned and hung, we can move over to the 3D display and look at the measurements. In just a few seconds, the Eclipse laser measuring system scans the laser targets and develops a complete set of measurements. The 3D measurement module assesses damage according to how far out of tolerance a spec point is. If it is located within the tolerant zone of plus or minus five millimeters, the model is colored green. When the damage is more than tolerance, but less than twice the tolerance, it is shown in yellow. Damage greater than twice the tolerance zone, in this case more than 10 millimeters, is shown in red. You can adjust the tolerance zone here in the damage tolerance box of the vector control portion of the screen. 
Look here to see the arrows that indicate the direction and magnitude of the movement. We've seen how the Eclipse measuring system's 3D display will show us where the damaged areas of the vehicle are. You're going to want to use that information to prepare a repair strategy. We'll get to that in a moment. But before we do, now would be a good time to record and document the measurements of that damage. Click the snapshot button. This saves the image to the repair order folder to use in reports. Print Screen will print the screen information along with vehicle and shop information. Since you have saved the image, you can wait until you have finished the report to print the information. Now let's see how we can use the 3D measurement screen to develop a repair strategy. First, let's magnify the arrows so that we can see them clearly. We'll select an arrow scale of 50. Remember, the vectors show the direction of the damage. You want to pull in a direction opposite of the vectors to straighten the damage. To see the vectors better, we can click and drag to rotate the 3D model. Zoom in or out with the scroll wheel on your mouse. To pan the image, press Ctrl and Shift together. Then, click and drag until you see what you want. The vectors give you a good idea of the extent of the damage. When all spec points are back inside the tolerant zone, the chassis repair is essentially complete. Now is the time to take another snapshot. This is the time you want to document that the vehicle has been brought back to its pre-loss condition. Your customer and the insurance company will be impressed. If you would like a quick report as well, simply push the print screen button. When you're finished with the repairs, print off a final document for your customer and the insurance company. I've walked you through the basic steps of using an Eclipse laser measuring system to repair a vehicle. I hope this video has shown you how easy, fast, accurate, and powerful the Eclipse measuring system can be. For more detailed information on the Eclipse measuring system, go to the Help tab at the top of the screen.